Tonight at 10, with two months until the start of a new school year, Troy's Board of Education is waiting to decide if the students will have to wear a mask in the classroom. And 2 News reporter Caroline Morse talked with Troy's superintendent about what factors will play a role in their decision. I spoke with Superintendent Piper today who says it's too early to decide if masks will be worn in this fall semester. However, the one thing he is for sure is that it will all depend on what the cases look like in the next couple months. Right now things are trending very, very well, um, but we'll just have to keep our eyes on that and make sure that ultimately our kids can be educated well and everybody can be kept safe. Troy City School District is hopeful for a relatively normal 2021 school year as long as cases remain low. The coronavirus dashboard shows over 38% of Miami County has received at least one dose of a vaccine, which one parent says makes him feel better about continuing in-person learning in the fall. Numbers rise up, then we can go back to mass just like we did last year. But as long as numbers are down the way they have been, there's no reason they need to have a mask on. Chef Boo is hopeful that Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are approved for children under 12 years old to make the school feel safer without face coverings, but is advocating for the decision to be left to the parents. Pro choice with the parents, let the parents decide. Troy is very fortunate enough that a lot of the smaller schools are able to do a little bit of social distancing. Uh, the numbers have been down. Uh, governors released most restrictions, and uh, the only restrictions I know of are in the hospitals and in um, nursing homes. So, yeah, let it be the parents' choice. Miami County was the first county in the Miami Valley to return to yellow public emergency level one, the lowest level possible. Now, Superintendent Piper says he will make a call on mask regulations as we get closer to the fall semester. In Troy, I'm Caroline Morse, 2 News working for you.